hello guys how are you welcome to our channel so today we are going to show how to use git bash with the gitlab so let's start so our first requirement to download the git bash so using this official website we can download the git bash let's go to the browser and hit this url and download the git bash from here after downloading this git bash you will get the execution file just install on it using the next option then after installation of this git bash you will get the one terminal like console so this is the git bash terminal like command prompt so here we can check that using the ls command whatever the directories and file is there so first of all we'll create one directory here using the mkdir command so mkdir command demo gitlab so let's switch the directory demo gitlab so nothing in this directory so let's go to the our gitlab dashboard so this is our gitlab dashboard yesterday we have created so here we need to create one blank project click on this blank project give the project name so demo project new so this is the project name i have given this is the project url by default it came here so project deployment target it's optional because we are not deploying anything for now visibility level you can keep private as well as public i am giving as keep as a public and just keep as it is the initialized repository with readme click on the create project after click on it the project has been created with this name demo project new this is the project name this is the repo branch name the main branch we are using here is the url for the cloning this branch so first of all we'll clone this project to our local repository so just copy this url clone with https url copy this go to the git bash and use this command git clone with this url so after using this command what are the data in the remote repository cloning to the re local repository so using the ls command you can see that the demo project new has been came here so just go inside this demo project new ls one readme file is already there if you see here on the remote machine one readme dot md file is there same file has been came in so after that we need to create one directory or file and we want to push to the remote repository and again pull the whatever the changes we will made in the we will make in the remote repository we want to pull into the local machine so before that we need to configure our username and pass username and email here using this git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name so whatever the username your gitlab account just add it here second thing user with email you the your use email id here you can check with this command git config iphone iphone list what data we have added so here we can check that user dot email and user dot name has been added successfully let's clear the screen so our next task is create a one file here so vi file dot txt i am creating one file dot txt so i will add some content here like hello guys how are you how are you let's save the content and let's check here one file has been added successfully file dot txt so our next task is check with the git status whatever the status is showing it will show in red color because it's an untracked file so we want to add this file so how can we add this git add dot comma so warning the file has been added successfully let's clear this screen and check with the git status okay now it's showing in the green color so our next task is git commit 
hyphen m and give the commit messages created file dot txt for testing purpose okay has been created successfully if we check with the git status command what the status is showing nothing to comment because we already committed everything so i want to push the changes to the remote repository so how can i push that so before that i want to add the remote here so how can we add that remote repository yes, using this command git remote add origin and the url so just copy this url from here and this command paste on your git bash so i already configure it will show it already exist okay so it's showing already exists so you can check using the git remote command so origin remote repository already created so next task is we already created one file here we have added we as well we have committed so now we want to push to the remote repository so how can we push that git push origin and main so main is the branch name origin is our remote name and git push okay, whatever the data or whatever the content we have written in the local machine we can push using this command so git push origin main so let's see okay and our data has been writing to the object 100 percent so data has been pushed successfully let's go to the remote repository and refresh this page okay one file has been added successfully file dot txt if you check hello guys our one file has been pushed successfully here okay so this is the scenario for the push the changes from local to remote so our next scenario is create one file from remote machine so i am creating one file file 2.txt and i will add welcome to our channel so let's commit add new file commit changes so i have added one file here welcome to our channel so i want to pull these changes to our local machine because why we are using this is the version control system like that distributed version control because multiple people will be working on this project someone will be made some changes and like uh, suppose there is one scenario okay, we are working on any any particular project and if anybody working on the billing scenario anybody work, working on the uh, image scenario anybody working on the other scenario so in that case multiple people will be push the changes into this repository and in that case suppose there is some dependency on someone so if the billing dependency it's uh, under the uh, whatever the data we have added inside the card so it's depend on there so we want to uh, add this dependency inside there so using this scenario we can do that so like file 2.txt has been created successfully here let's go to the git bash and just add the command here git pull origin main so whatever the data we have written in the remote repository it's also come to the our local machine if you check with ls like file 2.txt has been added successfully welcome to our channel so also we can check that git log using the git log command so who is the author who has been committed so initially we have created file.txt for the testing purpose second time we have created add new file from the remote repository and we have just pulled the changes to our local machine 
so this is the scenario like push and pull the code changes and other things from local to remote and remote to local so i hope guys you understood so our next uh, topic will be on runner how to integrate runner with the gitlab because every pipeline will be configured configure with the runner so we'll see you on the next video thank you guys bye